The week's top story which affects all of us is the 50 basis point rate cut announced by the Reserve Bank of India. This is good news if you are on a floating rate home loan. New home loans will also get cheaper along with auto and personal loans. Now, how soon will rates taper off is the big question. Harsh Rungta, CEO of ApnaPesa.com is with me. Let me go across to our Mumbai studio and ask him that. Harsh, IDBI, ICICI, PNB taken the lead, cut 25 basis point but not yet willing to bite the bullet fully or go and cut 50 basis point in one go. Where is the problem? If you could just explain to our viewers why are banks reluctant to pass on the full benefit immediately to customers? Uh, so, well, I, I think uh, the uh, basic issue is that uh, the deposit growth rate, as we all know, hasn't really been uh, great uh, uh, this year and even so far uh, in this financial year. Uh, cuts in rates, whether uh, uh, loans, uh, in uh, cuts in rates for loans are dependent in cut in rates for deposits as well. Uh, and I think the general fear is that if you cut the rates in deposits, uh, the uh, already anemic growth uh, might uh, taper off a bit. So I think even uh, this 25 basis point cut uh, that we have seen uh, is, is uh, slightly beyond, uh, I, I had not expected it so quickly. I think the general uh, feeling was and clearly my feeling was uh, that it would take a little time before banks actually cut base rates, uh, but that seems to be uh, proving wrong. And we have already seen uh, ICICI cut it today uh, and other banks cut it uh, also. Uh, so I think uh, the base rate cut is, uh, is welcome. If now the deposit rates will be cut as well and if they get a lot more deposits, we might see uh, further base rate cuts maybe two or three months down the line. But I think a 25 basis point uh, cut in base rates is to be welcomed uh, and I think expecting more at this time uh, may not really be uh, very, very feasible. Okay, so you're saying two to three months and that's exactly what uh, our uh, viewer V. Srinivasan from Bangalore who's written in to say, how soon I can, can I expect to get the benefit of RBI's rate cut on my home loan interest? I have a loan from ICICI Bank. So Harsh, now that ICICI Bank has announced 25 basis rate cut, do you think he can go or anybody on a loan, home loan with at least the banks which have already announced a rate cut can go back and negotiate a home loan rate cut as well. So as far as the cut in base rates is concerned, that's automated. I mean, assuming that he took this loan uh, post the time when base rates came into being, I think that was July 1, 2010, uh, if he's taken a loan uh, after that, he already is on a base rate uh, basis. Uh, and for this deduction, he does not have to go to the bank, it's automatic and he will get it automatically. The big thing could be that even today, he might be, even after the cut, he might actually be paying far more than what the same bank is willing to give it to its own new customers. Uh, and that's something he needs to check. And if they are indeed giving uh, to new customers at a lower rate, that he needs to go and negotiate with the bank that if you don't give me this rate, I will move. And typically with prepayment charges now being zero, ICICI, of course, had already voluntarily uh, uh, made the prepayment charges zero. Uh, he should be in a position to get the same rate as a new consumer does. All right. I'm sure that all of you have read that big news that RBI has also directed banks to do away with prepayment penalty charges on floating home loan rates. Uh, just uh, coming back to then this prepayment charges being taken away. Housing finance companies, though National Housing Bank had also given a similar directive, uh, Harsh, housing finance companies, some of them continue to charge a prepayment penalty and they don't get affected by RBI directive as well. So what happens now? That's one part of the question between a bank and a housing finance company. Where does one go for the best bargain in home loans? Well, so let me ask, uh, let me answer the first part first. I mean, a housing finance company on a floating rate loan cannot charge a prepayment charge, uh, period. I mean, there, there is no option to them. If they continue to do so, ask them to give it to you in writing. There is a complaint cell at the NHB. Uh, first, you complain to the top officials of the same HFC. If you don't get redress, complain to the uh, complaint uh, grievance cell at NHB, 100% you will get relief. 
the only place where there is a doubt are these teaser loans that people took that also now nhb at least has clarified that repayment on that also prepayment on that also would be free completely of prepayment charges except where they are being transferred to another bank otherwise even there the prepayment charges are zero in a teaser rate loan in a floating rate loan whatever you do including transfer to another bank there can be no prepayment charges right oh, okay so no prepayment charges whether you go to a housing finance company or a bank that should be the norm you should not be signing any document any home loan accept it if there is any kind of prepayment penalty but remember this is if you are opting for a floating rate home loan not for a fixed in your rate home loan you shouldn't be doing that in any case because Absolutely. interest rates going forward are likely to moderate maybe not in a hurry but at least the direction is that they're likely to go down and not go up uh, harsh coming back to housing finance companies now you know you've got banks now offering consumers home loan base rate plus 1 to 2% Housing finance companies, on the other hand, are still on BPLR or the benchmark prime lending rate. In a competitive environment, they should ensure that rates, uh, even BPLR rates, are very closely linked to what the market realities are. Is that happening or do you think that it would still be better to go and negotiate a base rate plus something home loan from a bank? So, Manisha, there is no question that a base rate is relatively, within inverted commas, relatively more transparent than this so-called prime lending rate, retail prime lending rate, etc. Uh, because there actually is no basis for fixation of that PLR or RPLR. Uh, so, all things remaining the same, uh, really, of course, a base rate plus is better than a RPLR minus. Uh, the point is, if you are a reasonably vigilant customer, I mean, keep checking the rates that your uh, guys, your own lender is giving to new consumers. If you can do that once in three months, I mean, you have sites like ours which help you find this out in a jiffy, right? If you can do that, then it should not matter because if the housing finance company is not giving you the benefit, you can shift without a charge. But if you don't trust yourself to do that, then other things remaining the same, the base rate plus regime is better then the uh, RPLR minus regime. Okay, base rate plus how much? One, the range also is pretty huge. Uh, I've heard of some people who've been able to negotiate it at 0.75, base rate plus 0.75. In fact, you'd also mentioned that on one of the earlier shows. And then I have lots of cases where it's base rate plus 2.25%. So it's a big range, Harsh. How do you bargain for the best rate? Well, just to let you in on a secret, Manisha, I have a personally a loan at base rate plus half. So, I think it really Gosh. depends. <laughs> it, <laughs> so it really now, you're making me feel bad here because <laughs> I think then I'm getting gypped. <laughs> but go ahead. So, uh, possibly you didn't use Apna Paisa. So, that probably is the reason you didn't get that rate. But, I mean, Make to me be more guilty. serious, <laughs> the, ne the yeah. negotiation is as, uh, I mean, it's like any other negotiation. In home loans, the uh, the scope for negotiation is at the most about 25 uh, basis points so i uh, some banks have a strategy where the base rate is low and they charge a higher spread other people have a strategy where the base rate is a little high and they charge a lower spread i think the thing that you should look at if the overall rate to you is the same lower the spread better it is for you Okay, lower the spread also means that every time there is an increase, then at least you don't jump up by that much. So, that's another good point. Yeah, you so have let to me, look at a... Let me, let me explain. 8 plus 2.5 is, uh, is less attractive than 10 plus half. So, I, I would much rather go for 10 plus half rather than go for 8 plus 2.5. Although the effective rate in both the cases is 10.5. Right. So, so that pretty much says that uh, you benefit by negotiating the lowest spread from the base rate on your home loan. And just uh, Harsha said that before, I'm going to just repeat what he's told on the show before. 
at least pitch three to four banks, especially if you're a good salaried uh, income person, you have lots of banks running behind for your business. Uh, okay, Harsh, that's a home loan part of it, but I've got some time. I'm going to take this question from Prashant Biani, who's written in from New Delhi saying he had subscribed to the NCDs of a gold loan company in January, and now he's a little bit nervous. He says, how well known are these company, companies generally? Will they default in paying interest in principal? I'm more worried now that I'm reading about RBI wanting banks from lending to such companies? Well, the first comment is, I think uh, this is a question you should have actually looked at in January rather than looking at it in <laughs> April. Uh, but to, uh, I mean, essentially, if you look at, I think January was uh, Manapuram or Muthut, I think one of the two, uh, hmm. both of them are rated FAA minus, right? One is by right. Crisil and another is by CARE. Uh, both of them are under watch uh, for, uh, with uh, developing uh, uh, implications uh, because of all these uh, huge regulatory changes that have happened in the last 4-5 weeks. But FAA minus, I think I have said this on an earlier program, FAA minus is definitely not a, uh, a, a bad rating. Uh, even if it gets downgraded, it's unlikely to get downgraded. It may get downgraded to FA plus or FA. Uh, so what does it mean? I mean, it means that the chances of getting your principal and interest on time is reasonably satisfactory. So, that's what I would say. Having said that, it obviously is more risky uh, than a deposit, say, with State Bank of India. But that's compensated by the fact that the interest rate is higher. So, I think that's something that the customer needs to look at. If he feels afraid, he must sell this off in the market. This is tradable. He can sell it off in the market, he'll suffer a loss. Uh, or he can wait and get his redemption proceeds as well as interest. Of course, he runs the risk uh, that uh, it will not get it. As of now, it does not look like a very big risk. Okay, so if you're really worried there, Prashant, then you can actually go ahead and sell these uh, debentures in the market. They're getting traded, but other than that, Harsh has said, they're not looking as if they're terribly negative in terms of their credit rating and you shouldn't worry unduly about them just yet. Harsh Rungta, thanks very much. Always a pleasure to have you with us here on Let's Talk Money. And this has been an extremely enlightening session. Ple thanks Thank you. for Thank you. In. Thank you, Manisha. So that's home loans for you and how safe are your investments in gold finance company. We will bring you Let's Talk Money in its new avatar every week from now on. News you can use which will affect your savings and investments. Investment gurus talking about the investment climate and experts to take care of all your money worries and help you do a complete money makeover. You can SMS us your questions at 56388 or just drop us an email at money at ndtv.com. Thanks very much for joining me. Goodbye.